a big thank you. You are sending us some great images from Nicole. And Heather, this one here, I want to show you this. This stuck out to me. Now look at this, all this foam coming up here in Ponte Vedra. Phyllis Baldwin, I'm giving you an A plus for your video because this is a rare scene. I asked Tim Deegan about this tonight. He said it takes a really angry ocean to produce foam like this. 30 foot seas and he says get this in the 41 years that he's worked here he's only seen this three times Floyd Matthew and today with Nicole fascinating video something? thank you so much for that one and Jeannie I got to show you what Leslie Myers uh, posted this on our weather watchers Facebook page you know this house you may remember we showed it to you during Hurricane Ian uh, this is in Volano Beach along A1A we were concerned about would it survive Ian it did would it survive Nicole there it is today. It survived. So we want to thank Leslie for sending that video and those pictures to us as well. And Stan, good video here, Stan. It looks as if Nicole could just kind of shove that over with her little finger. Ian battled. This is Crescent Beach near St. Augustine just 43 days ago. That was quite a blow. So this area was vulnerable. And Jessica Bradstreet sharing a jarring image. A lot of people talking about this. This was this morning on the Dames Point Bridge. It was shut down because of uh, the semi which rolled over onto its side into that concrete barrier due to high winds this morning. Uh, the good news is, according to Florida Highway Patrol, no one was hurt. And one more here, Sandra Santana. I mean, this is a mess and talk about visualizing what you got to clean up after Nicole. This is the doctor's lake area and you bet this pool is closed. Tim was telling me now this is a good reminder. This is 30 miles from the ocean. It's just a reminder visually that our waterways are all connected for sure. And Jeannie, uh, we say over and over again, stay out yeah. of the floodwaters. Um, but I'm going to tell you something. This guy right here, <laughs> he didn't get wet. He wasn't really in the floodwaters because look what he's on uh, a keg. It, it is a keg paddleboard raft, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, this is an interesting way definitely to get around yes, downtown Jacksonville sure. when it was flooding. <laughs> and our neighbors uh, right across the street from us here at First Coast News, Intuition Ale Works, shared this earlier today. But uh, a homemade keg raft paddleboard, <laughs> something you're only going to see in Florida, right? Now that's unique. I would have fallen off. Anyway, good job there. And please share your weather pictures with us. It's easy. Just download the First Coast News app and then Click on near me at the bottom of your screen and you can upload your photos and your videos.